Welcome to this video where we're going to create a stylized plan together in Blender. First things first, check out the screencast keys in the bottom right corner. They'll make following along a total breeze. Okay, now let's dive in and grow something awesome first. Select every object in the scene and delete them. Our canvas is clear and ready. Let's create the pot. Press Shift plus A and add a cylinder. In the appearing panel, set the vertices to 8. Press 1 on the numpad for front view. Press Tab to enter edit mode and press Ctrl plus R to add a loop cut. Click and drag it near the top of the cylinder. Press 3 for face select mode, then Alt plus click the top face loop to select all those faces. Press Alt plus E and choose extrude faces along normals. Watch that pot rim pop out perfectly. Great job. The base of our pot is shaping up. Ready for the next step? Now let's finish shaping our pot. Select the top face of the pot. Press E to extrude it inward, then S to scale it down a bit. That creates the pot opening. Switch to front view with one and press Alt plus Z. To enter X-ray mode, so you can grab all the bottom vertices. Then press S to scale them in. This slims down the base for that classic pot silhouette. For a little flair, press Ctrl plus R to add a loop cut around the middle. Click to confirm. Then press S to scale out slightly, giving the pot a gentle curve. Next, select all the top rim vertices. Press R to rotate them just a touch. Add a stylized tilt. Now press 2 for edge select mode. Alt plus click the rim edge loop. And press Ctrl plus B to bevel final crisp edges for that perfect look. Let's create our dirt surface. Switch back to face select, select the top face, and press P, selection to separate it as a new object. Select the pot body again, go to the modifiers tab, add a subdivision surface modifier, and set both levels to two. Finally, right click, shade smooth for that silky finish. And there we have it, a perfect stylized pot. Now let's edit the dirt. Select the dirt object, and press tab to enter edit mode. Select the top face, then press I to inset. Feel free to do that two or three times for extra detail. Switch to front view with one. Press O to enable proportional editing. Then press G to grab and bend the face into a gentle curve. This gives your soil that organic look. When you're happy, press Ctrl plus two to add two levels of subdivision surface. Then right click shade smooth for a soft finish. Perfect. Your dirt is now looking lush and ready for our stylized plant. Now, let's create our plant leaves. Press Shift plus A to add a cube, then hit Slash to enter isolation mode. Press S, Y to scale the cube along the Y axis, then S, X to scale along the X axis. Press Ctrl plus A, and choose Rotation and Scale to apply. Press Tab to enter Edit Mode. Press Ctrl plus R, add one loop cut along the Z axis, click to confirm. Press Ctrl plus R again, scroll your middle mouse to add three loop cuts along the X axis, click to confirm. Press Alt plus Z for X-ray mode. Then Alt-click the loop near the bottom to select it. Press O to enable proportional editing. Then press S to scale that bottom loop outward a bit. Press O again to turn off proportional editing. Select the top edge loop. Press S to scale it inward. Select the bottom edge loop again. Press S to scale it inward slightly. Select the middle edge loop. Press S to scale it outward, rounding out the leaf's profile perfectly. For extra detail, add a loop cut on each side face. Then press S to scale those loops outward. Add a loop cut near the top. Click to confirm. Now, let's create a cute indentation in the center. Alt-click the middle edge loop, press Ctrl plus B to bevel, and scroll your middle mouse to set three segments. Press S, Z to scale those bevel loops along Z, sharpening the fold. Switch to front view, and X-ray again. Select the middle vertices, press S, Y to scale them along Y. That creates the leaf's central ridge. Exit edit mode, press S, Y to scale the entire leaf slightly, just enough to finalize its shape. Now. Our leaf looks amazing, but let's add a little extra twist. Press 3 on the numpad to jump in a side view. Alt-click the middle edge loop. Press O to enable proportional editing. Then G to grab and bend that loop. Perfect, a nice curve. Next, select the top and bottom faces. Press R to rotate them slightly. This refines the turn even more. Now, see the origin point? We want it at the base of the leaf. Press A to select all. Then G to move the mesh so the origin snaps to the bottom. With the origin set, scaling and rotating become so much easier. Press Ctrl plus 2 to add two levels of subdivision surface. And don't forget to shade smooth. Back in side view, press it to rotate the leaf just slightly. And there you have it, a beautifully stylized leaf, ready to multiply and grow your plant. Press 7 on the numpad to switch to top view. Select our leaf, then hit Shift plus D to duplicate it. Use G to move it into place and R to rotate it slightly. Give it its own angle. Next, press S, Z, Z to scale the leaf along its local Z axis for a fresh variation. Great! Keep repeating these steps, duplicate, place, rotate, scale, to build a bouquet of unique leaves.
Want even more variety? Jump into edit mode, turn on proportional editing, select some vertices and G to tweak them slightly. A little bend here, a little twist there, Now, let's assemble our greenery. Select all the leaves, press slash to exit isolation mode, then S to scale everything down and G to position them at the top of the dirt. Switch to top view again. Use G to nudge the leaves until they're nestled just right in the center of the pot. It's looking great, ain't it? All right, let's finish this stylized plant with materials. Switch to material preview mode. Select the pot, go to the material tab and click new. Set the base color to a warm brown, just like rich clay. Next, select one leaf, click new, and choose a vibrant green for that fresh foliage look. Now, to color all the leaves at once, shift select the other leaves, press Control plus L copy materials, and they'll all inherit the same green. Finally, select the dirt, hit new, and pick a dark brown base color for rich, fertile soil. And there you have it. Our stylized plant is fully bloomed and beautiful. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you never miss a new blender build. Drop a comment below with what you'd love to create next. I read every suggestion. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, happy blending.